and welcome to Writer Always Write. Today, I'd like to share with you my newest fountain pen. This is the Retro 1951 or Retro 51 Tornado Lincoln. So far, I've had this pen for about two weeks and I have not been disappointed with the performance of this fountain pen. I like how the fountain pen came in this cardboard box. This is really cute and original. One of the quests of Retro 51 is to bring enjoyment, energy, vibrance, and excitement to the world of writing. They like to put a different spin on how their cases look and their favorite or rather their trademark trademark motto is life is too short to carry an ugly fountain pen. The fountain pen came in the or this cardboard cylinder which I think is really it's really different it has a nice spin to it. It was seated securely in the little hole right here. It had oops it had the pen and the little plastic sleeve to protect it and it had the instructions on how to care for the pen and how to use the pen and a little bit of some history about retro 51. If you like you can keep your pen stored in the little cylinder it just closes and keeps it protected nice and neat or you can do what I did, and since you love the pen so much, you want to write with it all the time, you put it in your pen case. and move this out of the way. This is a raw brass, and as you can see, it's starting to get the patina, and since this is where I turn it to open it, the fountain pen is, has a little more patina here than it does at the top. And at the bottom, uh, the clip is nice and sturdy. The only setback in reference to the raw brass is, you know how I feel about finials, and here's the brass. But here, they didn't put the brass finish at the top. And that, it's really no big deal, but why not? Why not put the brass here at the top? I love the little retro 51 etched into the top part of the finial, the cap part right here, which I really think is a nice little touch. And here we go. Let's, let's open our Retro 51. Here we go. It has a nice Yovo number no. five nib on it. And that is a pretty nice looking nib right there this is a 1.1 stub nib and i i've i've the last three pins i think that i've purchased have been a 1.1 stub on the nib there's just something about the writing style of the stub that i like but i, I will go back to my favorite which is basically the fine or the extra fine in reference to unthreading there are, you do have to do a little bit of the turning to open up the barrel here it has a nice looking converter doesn't look like you know some plastic uh, inexpensive type converter and here we go and put that back that's, that's a lot of threading on there so if you're if you hate doing a lot of threading you may not be totally pleased with it in reference to Putting the cap back on, I have noticed that if you don't line it up, you may be turning and turning and not uh, actually securing the fountain pen. And I hope that that would not be a problem in reference to maybe stripping the threads, which are plastic, if you can see that right in there, which are plastic inside. But other than that, if you can line them up correctly, it closes right up. Look at that. I love that. I love that lovely finish to it. It feels very smooth, but you can tell that it does have some, a little bit of some well-fined grooves into it to let you know that it's not that slick. Okay, when we come back, 
we'll uh, try a writing sample with our Retro 51 Tornado Lincoln. I also want to mention before we do a writing sample that this fountain pen is postable. It has a nice weight to it. I like to line that up here, push that down. It is staying on securely and it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel too heavy. So it feels good without posting and actually it feels good with posting. I don't think that's, I don't think that's too much adding too much of a length to it, but it depends on you and what your preference is. All right, let's do our writing sample. Nice and smooth. What am I writing here? Okay, Ain't nice ink flow. It's nice and wet for those who like to reverse right it's nice and actually just a touch scratchy but look at the ink that it's laying down in reference to that okay in reference to fast writing it is keeping up with the fast writing well done and with me touching barely touching the paper here it is coming out nice and smooth onto the paper. So all in all, for the past two weeks or so that I've been using this fountain pen, it's been no hard starts, easy writing, long sessions with writing with no problems. The ink that I'm using is the Black Forest, Franklin Kristoff Black Forest, and it's a lovely, darkest shade of green that which I am absolutely loving. Okay, let's go ahead and close our fountain pen here and we'll zoom out. Thank you for watching, Writer Always Write. I hope you like, subscribe, take care of yourself, mind and body, and join me again for my next video.